IoT, also known as Internet of Things, is a rapidly growing field, and if you're a software engineer, there's so much you can do with it. But where do you start your IoT software development journey? In this video, I'll talk about IoT for software developers and how you can benefit from its quickly growing technology. Did you know that there are just 15.4 billion IoT devices in 2015? Now, it's still a pretty big number, but think again when you listen to this. There are more than 30 billion IoT devices across the globe today. More importantly, estimates suggest that there'll be more than 75 billion IoT units globally in the next four years. Fair to say that considerable world population will be become a part of this global web where devices communicate via internet, performing automated jobs for their users. But what's the opportunity for software developers with this information? Just for a start, IoT devices use software applications to perform tasks like automation and reporting back metrics and data. This means there are plenty of opportunities for developers to work on the IoT devices themselves or to build solutions that leverage data from IoT networks. First, let's do a quick IoT intro. Even though IoT is a well-known technology, its general definition is sometimes distorted. So let me quickly define it for you. The Internet of Things is a network having internet-connected objects. These objects can exchange and collect data with the help of sensors. But these aren't smart devices that can talk on their own, so they must be programmed to speak with one another through a dedicated network. Also, the internet connection can be wired or wireless. You can access devices in far off remote locations. It's a web of smart devices that are always talking to each other. And IoT is more common than you think. Let's take an example. If you have a controlled electronic appliance, like a thermostat on an air conditioner through your smartphone, you're already an IoT user. Likewise, smart watches that send data to your phone or car sensors that transmit information about your car conditions is also part of the IoT network. So it's common and simpler than you think. These IoT devices use smart sensors and hardware devices that must be programmed to communicate with other relevant devices. And the easiest way to program a device is through software and high level programming languages. That's something that should interest a software developer, right? Well, like any other technology, IoT devices and networks are getting smarter every day. So the need for developing new applications and software will keep growing too. So why learning IoT can be helpful for software developers? The modern market is loaded with IoT devices and there are billions of users all over the world which means increasing need and more opportunities for software developers. In a nutshell, IoT is a promising niche for software enthusiasts and a must-try area for budding software developers. As IoT devices require expertise to set up and run, there is a considerable demand for IoT developers. So, if you know the skill, you can easily make the big bucks by targeting the right jobs in IoT. It means that learning IoT can be a profitable investment in the long run. As an IoT developer, your job will be to design IoT applications and software products, allowing sensors and IoT hardware to connect and work smoothly in any network. Simply put, if you were to work as an IoT developer, your job would be to 1. Create IoT platforms, next work on IoT operating systems, then develop and integrate IoT hardware and software, and ensure smooth performance with IoT devices. Next, let's talk about IoT applications. When you ask industry professionals, the term IoT is common for all of them. Different industry niches, like warehouses, assembly lines, and office setups use relevant IoT technologies, so the application of IoT isn't something new in this industry. However, because IoT is so generic, it virtually fits into every industrial niche without much effort. From a professional point of view, the popular applications of IoT include designing and planning of smart cities, construction businesses for designing smart buildings, smart power grids for efficient power distribution, medical services for timely assistance and emergency care, and smart analysis for market trends. Next, let's talk about IoT development technology. Now, because applications of IoT are so generic, the IoT development sector is quite versatile and offers promising prospects for new and old developers. When we talk about IoT development technology, it's important to understand different IoT development platforms, in-demand IoT operating systems, the best programming languages for IoT development. So let's find out. What are some popular IoT development platforms? IoT development platforms let you build and launch IoT applications. Now there are several choices for you as developers, but in my opinion, there are three that are the most popular ones. First is Azure. Azure is a Microsoft cloud platform and it supports IoT features like data collection, visualization, and analysis. The best advantage of using Azure is its scalability. You can start small and scale up your apps to add more devices to the platform without making too many changes to your application. Next is IBM Watson. Watson comes from IBM and is an IoT development platform that offers high security and quick implementation of IoT solutions. There are powerful online data analysis tools and risk visualization features that make this platform a great option for industrial IoT systems. Next is AWS. AWS allows you to integrate AI-based solutions to your IoT applications. 
There is multi-layered security and scalability. Moreover, it supports device connectivity, control, device software, and analytical tools. Next, let's talk about the top IoT operating systems. IoT systems are low-powered devices, and that's the biggest advantage of using them. So they have low-powered CPUs, RAMs, and limited storage units, which means that IoT doesn't run on commonly used operating systems like Windows. Instead, there are special operating systems that support IoT applications and software. The most popular ones include Raspbian. Raspbian is a popular IoT operating system and it runs on Raspberry Pi hardware. It compiles more than 35,000 packages and is quite simple to use as well. Next is ARM Embed OS. ARM Embed is an open source option for IoT systems. It features multi-layer security and provides optimum support for Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, Thread, and six low WPAN. Next, let's talk about the best IoT programming languages. The best thing about IoT programming languages is their easy syntax and enough support with multiple IDEs. They're portable too. The best IoT programming languages include C and C++ for efficient hardware support, Java for peripheral support and IoT compatible functions, and X Python for IoT applications and the ability to handle heavy data. Next, let's talk about the job prospects for IoT developers. There's a huge job market for IoT developers. There's always a need for trained professionals who can develop the right software tools for IoT systems. According to some experts, IoT job growth is expected to rise by 21% by 2028. So let's say you become an IoT developer. What can you expect from your job? Well, the responsibilities may vary from company to company, but you can expect an average annual salary of more than $171,000 a year. But what skills do you need to become an IoT developer? Well, you need to work on your practical skills by using the relevant platforms, programming languages, and you also need to understand complex IoT systems and how you can improve their efficiency. Learn at least one of the IoT programming languages at its core. At the same time, work on your soft skills like interpersonal skills and enhance your leadership qualities. Please give a like if you found this video useful and consider subscribing to catch similar content in the future.